What's the name of that church? Uh, I believe that is the Church of the uh, Holy Ascension. 19th century Russian Orthodox Church with President uh, Paul Lee. Always been an eagle on the area time I've come here. So we are downtown on Alaska. Did you, did you have a camp on uh, Carlisle? Uh, I'm trying to think. 
No, and they liked it. Oh, you had not you like it. We, we yeah. found a fox farmer's camp on uh, a cabin on uh, Carlisle. We wondered if you used that camp at one time. That's where we put our camp. No, I never okay. camped on Carlisle. Mm -hmm. They liked it, though. You know where that ship was wrecked? Yeah. You yeah. found one there, remember? Did you parts of a ship? Parts of one, yeah. Well, right around the point there was my cabin. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wow. On the side facing uh, Umnak Island, or uh, on the side facing uh, uh, Kagamo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's yeah. where my, there's a little dent in there in the point, and the steep bank going up the little plateau, that's where I had the that's house. Right. Then we found that. Yeah. On the Liga. Yeah, we found it. Yeah, yeah it's blown down, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, a small house, 10 by 12 yeah. or something like that. You must have had uh, lots of foxes on that island, huh? There was, yeah. Mm -hmm. But they died out, uh, well, they were awful hungry winter time when there was no birds left. Huh? And because uh, there was no, the tall cliffs, no beach. Well, you know. Cliffs and, you know, the foxes lived off the beach, mostly. We, we did an interesting experiment there. We put uh, sterile red foxes on that island seven years ago, and they eliminated the blue foxes. And I know mm -hmm. in your book you said the, the red foxes will kill the blue foxes, oh, yeah. and they did. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't know why, but uh, uh, let's see. Uh, I done that on Great Sitkin, you know, right out from A deck. There was some, I don't know, there was the most, the biggest red foxes I ever saw. They were not much good, but there weren't very many either. So I, uh, I went there and I cleaned them off best I could. And I put blues on there. That was the end of the blues. Oh, because there were a few reds left, huh? Oh, yeah. And they cleaned them off, huh? Oh, yeah, way in the rugged part where it didn't go, you know, there was... And they were cannibals, too, mm -hmm. those red foxes on, on the Great Sitkin. Mm -hmm. They ate one another. Yeah. In the winter when time was rough, huh? Well, all the time, I guess. They even killed one another. Jeez. You, I read somewhere that you uh, stalked Ulac Island, is that right? Ulac? No, I didn't stalk Ulac. I've been there a lot oh. of times. Mm -hmm. Do you remember before the foxes were put on Ulac, if there were a lot of birds on that one too? Oh yeah, all them islands had lots of birds on them. Mm -hmm. That is uh, rugged islands. Mm -hmm. uh, but do you remember specifically Ulac? Oh yeah. There were a lot of birds there once? Oh yeah, sure. All the islands that were rugged, had cliffs on, mm -hmm. were loaded with birds. Mm -hmm. oh, do you remember Amatignac? Amatignac. Right, right south of Ulac. Let's see, Amatignac. Uh, oh, yeah, way out to uh, toward Amatignac. Yeah, Amatignac's right next, about 10 miles well, south it's, of it's Ulac. Uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, uh, the southernmost of that little bunch there. That's right. Of the Delaros, the southernmost yeah. of the Delaros. I stopped that island. Amatignac. Mm -hmm. Was did that once have a lot of birds too? Oh yeah, they all had birds. And uh, I stopped the uh, Amatignac. Did Am Do you remember did Amatignac have like lots of puffins and things like that, or do you have any idea what was on there? Well, I wasn't there much, mm -hmm. but uh, uh, that. Uh, Let's see. Well, those are no, that bunch of islands was not too worthy. Uh, and the Tignac wasn't, huh? Well, I wasn't there much, you know. But I stopped it uh, on the inner side, away from the Pacific. There was kind of a reef there with a big, nice landing place there. But, but that one didn't have a lot of birds that you remember. Yeah. Not too well. 
uh, I wasn't there much, but then I guess it did because uh, I would have seen so many birds, I, I wouldn't forget, you know. But, but you like this. Uh, you like, uh, well, you, you like to stop way before my time. Oh. God stop that. They see Goss. Mm -hmm. I think it was Goss, or maybe it was Applegate. I don't know. It was Applegate, you know, it started the Blue Fox industry. Mm -hmm. uh, he was... Uh, but even when you were at ULAC, there were a lot of birds still then, huh? And ULAC, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now there was uh, that uh, group islands there. Uh, there was uh, UMAC. You know, Cavalga. Cavalga was a terrific fox island. They used to take 200 pelts off of it. Wow, that's a small island, yeah. Well, it's one of the biggest in that group. Mm -hmm. But then it's it's about, uh, uh, it had lots of feed on it. Lot of, no mountains. Wow. It's all beach. That's where there was a lot of feed. Cavalga now has, the, has ground squirrels on it. I put them there. Oh, did you? Not then. Yeah, Cavalga. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I put the ground squirrels on it. Uh -huh. Way back in there, let's see, when was it? In the 30s. Or somewhere in there. And boy, they multiplied. The foxes didn't eat them. They did? Well, the foxes, they had plenty oh. to eat there. Oh. And then winter time, when maybe the foxes would have ate them, if they were uh, hibernating. Hibernating. Well, yeah. <laughs> oh, they increased in a the hurry there. I'll bet. Did you put ground squirrels on any other islands? Or? No, that's only one. Mm -hmm. I was wondering when anybody would discover that there was ground squirrels. <laughs> <laughs> See, they were. This was the end of the ground squirrels here. Here, uh, Nick. Uh, Omnac don't have any. That's right. Yeah, I know Omnac. And, well, this was the end of the salmon berries and the blueberries. You do have ground squirrels here, though, don't you? Oh, lots of them. Yeah, on, on Alaska, but yeah. not on that, right? They don't, weren't uh, put there. Well, they were put here according to the stories by... There was Applegate, a sea otter hunter. that a vessel hunted sea otter, but... Originally came up here as a, with a coast survey or whatever they had those days, and they stayed up here. They had a sailing vessel there were days, and he hunted sea otters. Well, I was on the last sea otter hunt myself when I was 14 years old. Hey. My stepfather was captain. Uh, ship. It was a Japanese uh, sailing vessel captured at Pribilos. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Now you're a half brother to Ted Peterson, aren't you? Huh? You're a half brother to Ted Peterson, aren't you? No, it's step. Step brother, I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. okay. But then I got a half brother there. Okay, what's this guy? Huh? I, I didn't know you had. had uh, I, I, I really didn't understand the relationship with you or step brother yeah. or half brother. Well, this Captain Pedersen, uh, mm -hmm. he was old time whaler up in Arctic. Right. The ice captain. Uh, the ice captain. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's where he came to. to from Norway. I didn't realize you were related to Ted. I, I know Ted Peterson. I, he, he lives in Sylvia. I live yeah. in Homer, and uh, I was talking to him. But he time. lives in Homer now. Um. I, I, he may have been moved to the nursing home there, I don't know for certain, but... Yeah. Uh, well, he had a homestead right across... Albuquerque, yeah. Uh, from the... from uh, Homer. Yeah. What's the name of it? Um, I think he was in Albuquerque. Yeah. yeah. And he sold it yeah. to yeah. some... But he kept a little piece for himself. Yeah. And then my half-brother... And my half-brother is still there. Uh, well, he was, uh, well, uh, Ted Peterson, the one you knew, Yeah. he piloted ships mm -hmm. for years along the, Japanese ships along the Alaska coast. Right, yeah. Yeah. I guess he was also like a lighthouse keeper at Point Sarachuk. 
Yeah, yeah he done the, yeah. he done it for him back. Yeah. Way back. Yeah. He's an yeah. interesting man to talk to, too. Oh, yeah. I, I like him. He's nice. Well, he was, uh, <coughs> he was born here. Yeah, his mom, his mom uh, died, I guess, when he was pretty young. Oh, yeah. yeah. You must, uh, must know, have known Mike Utak. I knew him really well. Yeah, I, I enjoyed Mike when I lived in Cole Bay. I got to be real good friends with Mike Utak. Yeah. And, uh, well, I worked for Reeve. Oh. When Reeve was young. And a lot of that time was spent in Cole Bay. You probably knew Cal Reeve then in Cole Bay, didn't you? Cal Reeve is a good, good chum of mine. Great. Cal Reeve was a buddy for me. I hired him as my maintenance man I, when oh, I was yeah. running the refuge when... When Bob Jones went away to school for a couple of years, I hired Cal Reeve as our maintenance man there in Cole Bay at the yeah. refuge. Well, I was already there, and I worked with him. Great, and then Sue Reeve, and yeah, Sue right. Sue Reeve. Right. He was married to Carl Hiker now. And, mm -hmm. Right. Did Did yeah. you ever work or do any fox work on uh, uh, Garrelai, or was that one of your islands? Yeah, Garrelai. Uh, Let's see, Gurloy, uh, let's see now, where the heck is Gurloy? Gurloy is in the Delaros, but it's about 30 miles north of Ulac. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, big, Gur big volcano. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, sure, I, I saw it. Uh, uh, let's see exactly where it's at, Gurloy, anyhow, now. It's, it's... It's uh, east of Amchitka and about 30, 40 miles north of Ulac. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was there. Uh, let's see, when was it? Horrible eruption. Oh. Because there's no record of it, you know. They didn't keep records mm -hmm. those days. Oh. When, you know, that Okaluga and Skugel. Goss at uh, Applegate. Those were one of the first Blue Fox Islands that Applegate stopped. They're flat. They're, well, they're just sandbars, more yeah. or less. <laughs> and uh, this eruption killed all of, or most of the foxes on there. Oh, that's what happened to them. Yeah. Huh. There was still some left, but uh, it was during the breeding season when they had pups. And there was... A lot of that ash fell on those two well, they were right close there, you know. And uh, I was on there right after the eruption, and there was six inches of of ash that fell on the two islands <laughs> and smothered the young pups. See, it was during the pup season. Hmm. Wow. I'll be darned. Were you ever on Segula? Segula. Segula. Let's see now, where was that? That's, that's uh, west of Amchitka. Between Amchitka and Kiska. Segula. Oh, yeah, sure. Another volcano, Segula. Yeah. It's 12 miles from Kiska. Mm -hmm. First island this way mm -hmm. from Kiska, yeah. I was... Uh, uh, well, during the war, I run a tug. Mm -hmm. I run an outpost center first for the army, right here. Mm -hmm. And uh, then they send me to ADAC, because nobody would run the outpost tender out there. They couldn't. ADAC was surrounded with mines. Ah. And uh, with a passageway through the middle. And, uh, Boats out there, they, well, I never used the passageways. I went around <laughs> close to the beach where there was no mines. Ah. <laughs> and I, went, I went through the reefs, too. You know, that's, well, I knew because I've been all around ADAC before. So I knew that, but these new guys didn't. So, uh, then, uh, did you actually live on Segula at all or put foxes there? Or no, but I was there quite a few times. Mm -hmm. I picked up trappers on there. Oh. And There's uh, a there was a a big deep 
bay on the northwest side yeah. there. That's an old. I went in there with fifty foot boat one time. Hey. And uh, it's a uh, shallow cross entrance. And uh, I am there. You can't. It's awful deep hole in there. Can you can you camp on the beach back in there? Or can you? There's very little beach in that hole. It's all cliffs. Can That's you, why the guy had that uh, for Fox Island. You know, uh, see, he was more to the uh, well, more in behind island. Yeah. There was no place to even build a shack in there. There was oh. no, no. It was all. It's an old crater, I guess. For, it's awful deep. I know I had a hard time finding a place to anchor in there. You can't get up that cliff anywhere either, then. Well, it's a steep cliffs. Oh, yeah. We were wondering if there's a ravine or something you can get up, up there. No, there's cliffs all around oh, it. Well, it looks like it's, an, it's an old crater. Yeah. I think. Oh, wow. Because the entrance to it is shallow all the way across. Oh, it's like a blown out crater, a, va a vent or something, yeah. Yeah, that filled with water. Yeah, yeah we're thinking about in a couple of years that might be one of the islands we take the foxes off of. Mm -hmm. Agatu now, you know, has 50, 50 or more nests of Aleutian Canada geese now this year. Yeah. 50, 50 geese, or 50 nests of geese. Well, what island is that? Agatu. Oh, Agatu, yeah. Yeah, it's really coming back. There are birds everywhere now. I was there mm -hmm. 20 years ago helping Bob Jones remove the fox, but I haven't been back, but he says it's marvelous. And you know, Bob Jones was just back there. This yeah. summer I saw him at the airport in ADAC. It was really neat to see him. Yeah. And he, he went back uh, for a couple of weeks there and got the bull deer and Agatu and mm -hmm. Nitsky, Allade, all those islands. So, uh... It was good to, to see Bob back out there and just look at the results of all this hard work and see the birds coming back again. There's mm -hmm. thousands of birds now all over uh, yeah. Agatu again. Yeah, and Chitka used to be the, the main for those... Uh, geese? What they uh, call the... The Aleutian geese? Aleutian... Canada goose. Aleutian, yeah, right. Well, the same as... Uh, that Canada goose, only they're smaller. Smaller and white neck ring, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a little bit different. But, uh... I didn't even... I used to shoot them. Really? When they were kind of scarce. I did. I thought I was shooting Canada geese. Right there in ADAC. Oh. In that big lagoon. Mm -hmm. In ADAC. Clam lagoon. Mm -hmm. Well, not clam lagoon, oh. but the whole area in there. Of course, I don't know how it is now, but... Uh, Probably half filled in with a uh, runway. <laughs> well, it's, well, they used the uh, low tide in there for the first runway. You know that uh, they put a, a dam in there with a gate. I guess it's still there. And uh, so the tide wouldn't come in. And when they landed in ADAC, the military, during the war, in a few days, they had a big airfield there, yeah. right on the sand flat in there where the tide, uh, well, when they put that dam in so the tide couldn't come in there, the only water it got was from the, from the streams, and that didn't flood that big sand flat. You sure couldn't wait a whole long time to get that in there. Yeah. Well, they had bombers going out of there inside of a week. That's good. After they landed there. Yes. They really rushed that one. Yeah. yeah. Do you remember whether there were geese on Ulac and Amatignac when you were there? On Ulac and... Uh, uh, no, that uh, there was very few geese. I mean, this... Uh, Pollution, uh, Canada goes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm just so wondering if you remember there were still any left on ULAC or Amatignac when you were there. Well, I don't know. Mm -hmm. But I used to, uh, I used to shoot them there in ADAC when they were yeah. migrating. Mm -hmm. See, they, they went north to nest. Or, no, no, they nested out here. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. 
Right, they migrate south to California and whatnot in oh, the yeah, wintertime. Oh, that's where they went, yeah. Yeah, in the wintertime. And, uh, oh, yeah, sure, yeah. But I was just wondering yeah, yeah. if, if, if uh, there were still any geese left on ULAC when you were there. Well, there was still a few, and uh, that's where they got the livestock from. You know, that, that, uh, but well, would you, you would see Arthur Jones when you cleaned them Chitka? Well, no, that was before my time, but yeah. the geese have never come back to Amchitka because of two reasons. There are rats all over the island, for one thing. I think that's part of it, they're, and there are rats, you know, on a lot of the islands, but also there's a lot of eagles there. Yeah. And every time they try and get the birds started, yeah. between the rats and the eagles, they don't survive. The rats must be new on them, Chitka. They got there during the war, evidently. Yeah. No, there's the rat islands mm -hmm. there. That, there's a gigantic rat on Rat Island. Gigantic rat. Really? Island. From the Russian time, I guess. Yeah. I guess some Russian ship got. The Natka Island is full of rats, too. I know on Natka Island, uh, it was hard to trap blue foxes. Because the rats got their first oh. <laughs> and, uh, Wow. Especially bait. Yeah, right. Yeah, they uh, took the foxes off a of rat island. I don't know what for, because there's still plenty of rats. I had nothing to do with that. But, yeah. Uh, that would be a bad, bad place. Did you Did yeah. you ever go on to Bobroff? Bobroff, yeah. Mm -hmm. I planted, uh, that's uh, between Canada and Tanika, yeah. And Tanika. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I stopped at that. Oh, did you? Do you and remember? Not for myself, but there was a guy who had it for Fox Island. Oh, really? Do you I remember don't... whether there were geese there? Uh, Bobra? No, I don't. There was very few geese in those right. days. Mm -hmm. Because of all the fox farming. I well, imagine. I mean, they've been, they've been killed off, you know. Right. And, uh, I killed lots of them myself when they were very scarce. I used to stop there in Adak. And, yeah. Well, Adak, boy, there was every kind of duck there in that long lagoon. I know. And boy, I, there was every kind of duck you could think of. It's a neat place. There's still all kinds of interesting ducks from Asia yeah. come over there. Oh, yeah, there was some, you know, way up the lagoon there, there's a lake. And uh, there was a bunch of swans lived in that lake. Probably whooper swans from Asia. Well, whatever it was, that is, they stayed. That's where they lived. That was their own home. Oh. Uh, there wasn't a lot of them. They were, and uh, there was a boy used to s try to sneak on them, you know, and get one. But boy, I don't know, they, they sure could, I'd be crawling through the long grass, but they'd see me. <laughs> and they'd be on this side of the lake, you know. And I'd be crawling there, and by the time I got there, they were on the, the far side of the lake. <laughs> and uh, I finally got one. And uh, boy, they were good. He was, it was a young one. They were kind of gray when they were young. I think it takes two or three years before they turn white. When you when you were at, at ULAC, uh, where did you have your cabin? Do you remember on ULAC? On ULAC, uh, no, they, I didn't have no cabin. Not me, but I was there. Mm -hmm. It was on the west side. I oh. landed there lots of times. Probably. Pratt Cove, maybe? Huh? There's a place on the west side called Pratt Cove. Maybe that was it. Yeah. It was kind of a cold reef and everything. Mm -hmm. You mentioned in your Unknown Islands book that Pra that uh, Uliga was the graveyard island. Ulag. I mean U Ulag that was the graveyard oh, yeah. island. It was. There were a lot of caves and stuff there? No, no, it was uh, uh, I don't know, there was probably a massacre there. There was, uh, on the 
this side is the island facing Kavalga. Uh, that's where the, well, it wasn't a cove exactly, but a reef, a point stuck out. That's where I had the cabin. And uh, uh, oh yeah, and there was, a, I guess they used to bury people there, that, sitting up. The Aleut style, I guess, was sitting up cross-legged. Umquas? Huh? Umquas? Is that what they were called? Those little huts? Umquans? No, they were round holes in the ground. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, I guess they had a little. And there was a... But uh, somehow or other, right at the... There was a little flat there where I built the cabin that steep, maybe 75 feet high and flat on top. And there was a lot of these holes about that big around about you know, four feet deep. They had nothing in. But right at the foot of the steep place was just a mass of skeletons. Mm. Mm. And that is, they were, they were not too old, I guess, because they were not buried. Those were in the open, not in a cave? Or were they in a cave? No, no, they were just on the ground. Hey. A whole mess of them. Hmm. They, they were... That's on the west side of the island. Right there where I built the house. Okay. On the east side. On the, hmm. Well, on this side. On oh, the east side? East then. side, yeah. Okay. Hmm. Okay, there's a cove on both sides there. Patton Cove yeah. and Pratt Cove. Yeah. Well, anyhow, uh, there was... Uh, then right to, at the same place there was uh, the roots of a tree, I think a yellow cedar. And uh, uh, well, I, I stayed on that island for uh, this winter, you know. You like? Uh, yeah, we thought this was a big rock. And we discovered it was hollow. Really? Yeah. It was the roots of a tree. Uh, way up, way up in the that was actually had been growing there once. Huh? No, 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 it had drifted there. Oh, it washed it there. Drifted. Okay, but the whole tree must have drifted. They took the roots and and there was one. I guess he was a big chief who was buried in there. Wow! Because the salt skeleton was there, sitting up, you know, just the way he was buried, cross-legged, the ribs here, and then the skull on top. And, uh, and his property right by his feet, spearheads and all this and that. Do mm. mm. you ever remember finding anything like that on Uliga or Carlisle or any of the other islands? Or? No, the reason I found them there, they were, well, I, I built the shack there. And, on Ulac? Uh, and, uh, and I stayed there all one winter. Well, there are a lot of, uh, I know Ulac, there's a lot a lot of lakes and stuff up on Ulac, sort of flat up on top with mm -hmm. a lot of lakes and stuff, where there were once a lot of ducks and oh, yeah. swans and geese yeah. and things like that there. Mm -hmm. Huh. How about? Oh, no, I was talking about Eliga. Oh, oh Eliga, okay. West, uh, West uh, Eliga, yeah. Like the same name as this island out here, out past Priest Rock. You like it? Yeah, you you like it. And the islands of four mountains. No, that's uh, this. Uh, let's see, what's the name of this island right out here? Not not Amatignac right here. No, no, right out by past Priest Rock. Oh, the island. Right out from English Bay. Oh, I'm not sure myself, the local one here. Yeah. It's called Uliga. Uliga, yeah. Uliga, the same what thing. What is the meaning of that word in Uliga? I don't know, but there is West you know, Uliga too, you know, way out west. Yeah. You mean, you, don't you mean Unalga? Yeah, you, yeah, you know. Unalga, yeah, okay, that makes sense. Yeah. There is a West and East Unalga, right, okay. Yeah. Yeah, but, mm -hmm. uh, so, so Ulac, uh, once had, uh, a lot of uh, berries. Uh, 
incoming dispatch. Boys running full blast coming my way. I hurry up and ran down to Dory and got my gun. And he was still quite a ways off. And I shot at him. I probably hit him. Anyhow, he jumped straight up in there and he turned around while he was in there. And, uh, and, uh, I started to run the other way. And my dog took off after him. See, I didn't see that dog for 24 hours. <laughs> well, he had to find his way back to the cabin, you know, which was on the other side of the bay. He finally made it. Huh. The island of Chigulik, do you remember that one? Chigulik, uh... Chigulik over, you know, by Unaska and, and that way. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Chigulik and Amukta. Mm-hmm. Did you ever go there, or did you ever... Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, was, I was to all the islands in Lucian Islands. Did you ever go ashore much on Amukta? Mm. Let's see, well, there's a lot of islands that... I, uh, that I just went to shore on only, a, you know, like I landed trappers and picked trappers up yeah. and so forth. Yeah, we, uh, we took the foxes off of Amukta here about six years ago. Mm -hmm. And the birds are starting to come back there and they found a goose nest there now, too. Yeah. And Chigulik, that, was that ever stocked, Chigulik? With goose? Yeah, no, with, uh, fox. Oh, all the Lucian Islands were stocked with foxes. Except for, weren't there a couple like bull deer that weren't? Uh, let's see, uh, 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 bull deer, that's the one. Way out west. Way out between Kiska and that too. Mm -hmm. I think that's, no, that was never stocked with blue foxes. Was, do you remember if Chigulik ever was? Oh yeah, Chigulik. All the Lucian Islands that, uh, uh, even some small ones, you know. Mm -hmm. That yeah, Chigulik has got Well, peace. it was money, you know. Yeah. During the 20s, if you got a good island, like, uh, for instance, I got uh, this uh, one island there I had by myself. Uh, there, let's see what they could name it. This side of ADAC, that group there. The Gitkin or some of those? UMAC? Uh, not UMAC. Chugal? Uh, Kagalaska? Uh, no, Kagalaska, that's... Uh, Asuksak? Uh, Asiak? Well, there's a big volcano there on there. Oh! So I suppose you uh, Great Sitkin. Great Sitkin, yeah. Oh, okay. That's... Uh, anyhow, let's see, what was the name of that? The, let's see, what's the name of the island next to Kaniga? Not Kaniga, but Adak. Kaniga. Kaniga, Tanaga. Kaniga. Oh, yeah, this island was, was, uh, uh Kaniga. It was, you know, pretty good size island. That was my fox island. And, uh, on this side, Adak. Mm -hmm. That bunch. And, uh, I stocked it uh, with what they called, uh, uh, oh, what's that metal that's like the expensive metal? Platinum? Uh, platinum? Platinum blues. Oh, yeah. They were kind of light, almost maybe turning back to white. Oh, yeah. Those were the most expensive. And I had this island. And, uh, Oh, I didn't have no money or anything. And then the first time I trapped my island there, I had $14,000 all in one wow. lump. Good. From that's nothing to... That's a tremendous amount of money in those days. Yeah. It was. But well, $1,000 then was the same as 10 now. Yeah, that's right. I mean, in... Our friend oh, played yeah. money. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. That's almost going from feast to famine there. Well, yeah, the well, that is the other way. Yeah, as far as money was concerned, yeah. of course, I always had enough money, you know, to live on, but I didn't have no extra special, you know. Yeah. And here I had $14,000.
all in one lump. Good grief, that'd be like getting 140,000 now or something. Wow. Yeah. Well, I sold my, I sold my 142 pelts, and they were all good pelts because I never trapped in January when they were really good. And uh, and they sold good, you know. They. I, I know it's hard to remember specific islands, but do you remember whether Amatignac that you stocked and you helped with you like? Do you remember whether they had ptarmigan on them? Uh, Adak had lots of ptarmigan. But I, I know because I ate ptarmigan there. I used to. I, I just wonder if you can remember Ulac or Amatignac when no, there were ptarmigan. Well, most of those islands did not have ptarmigan. They didn't? No, Adak who had lots of ptarmigan. But, but and you still has, I guess. But you act didn't. Yeah. Hmm. Not that I know of. Because mm -hmm. the reason I know Adak had Tomagin was, well, I lived there. Hmm. And I shot a lot of Tomagin there. Mm -hmm. you, you spent, what, one winter on ULAC too? On uh, ULAC. No, let's see. Uh, ULAC. Uh, there in the, four months. No, in the in the uh, Delaros, Ulac Island in, in the Delaros, uh, between you know not far from Amchitka, we talked about. Oh yeah, that Ulac. bunch of islands there. Yeah. And uh, no, I I spent uh, winter on Umac and uh, Cavalga. Well, that's it for us that there, yeah. yeah. Uh, and you mentioned Amatignac, too. Yeah, Amatignac. Mm -hmm. Well, I was on, I, but I never never spent the winter on it. Okay, Ulac was the one you spent the winter on, I think you yeah. said. Yeah. But that one didn't have ptarmigan that you knew of. No. Hmm. That's interesting. They probably were already eliminated. That's a flat island. Yeah. Uh, but, but the well, here at Atka, Atka didn't have ptarmigan either. Probably they were really down. I think I think they've survived, but way up at high elevations. Yeah. Let's see it. Oh yeah, Atka did have. Yeah, Atka. I yeah. believe had. Time. Yeah, it does now. They yeah. probably survived at very high elevations. Yeah. And then have come up in numbers like. I didn't see. I ran outpost under here, but they had the outpost on there, a small one. A sergeant and two or three men. Wow. And uh, they went there to pick him up. And the sergeant was gone. And uh, they said that he walked, he got run over by lava. Wow. Because some GI shot him, I guess. And, uh, it sounds like some foul play. And this was Carlisle, huh? Yeah. I'll be darned. Do you remember anything about Herbert Island? Herbert, uh, Just south of Carlisle in the Four Mountains. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I stopped that with Blue Fox. Oh, did you? The yeah, guy in Atka had it. Sergey Goldie in Atka. Uh, did, did Herbert once have a lot of birds? Uh, I ain't sure, because I didn't spend much time there. But it was one, it was a rugged island. All the rugged oh, yeah. islands <laughs> had birds. In fact, uh, some of them, uh, that, uh, like these uh, birds that nest in the cliffs, were nesting in the grass. Because yeah. they had nothing to uh, bother them. Carlisle, Carlisle probably had a lot of birds once too, didn't it? They all did. Yeah. Wow. It, it, you go back to Carlisle now, or you go to Herbert, or you go to Uliga and islands like that, no birds, nothing yeah. now, nothing. Well, there was the birds who, uh, well, they disappeared, you know. And one of the reasons was the foxes. Sure. <laughs> the well, reason, they, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's why the, those, some of the islands that, well, the, the birds is all the foxes had, because there's no beaches, just cliffs. And the foxes done good, 
they had pups same time the birds did. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so they had lots of uh, well, like for instance, here's a female fox. Say she had eight pups. Maybe by the time she raised them, there would be only two left. But on that island where there was lots of birds, fox had eight pups. She raised eight pups. <laughs> right. Yeah, well... And really those pups, they, you know, the fox pups, they, well, by the time they got a year old, they had pups themselves. Like as a fox born now in May, this year, will have pups next May. Sure. Yeah, they, yeah, you, <clears throat> you go back to Uliga now, there's no birds nesting at all, nothing. Yeah. And then, like you said, when you were there, there was birds everywhere. Mm-hmm. Mm, tremendous difference. But they should start recovering now when we yeah. take the foxes off and the birds just come back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's the foxes that, especially on those rugged islands where that's, there was only black area. Mm -hmm. Then they had two people, of course, there was no more people on that two. The Japs took them to Japan, and uh, some of them came back, but uh, most of them died there. I know one, well, he was a chief in that too. You know that too, a different language? I, I, I knew that there was a different version of Unigan. No, it was altogether different. Really? Valued language. It must have been altogether different. Because I know, uh, well, I knew the chief there when they took him to Japan. Right. See what that was his name there. He wore glasses, didn't he? Uh, I've seen a picture of him, I think. He wore glasses, I think. Yeah, and he was, he right. died in Japan. Yeah, that's too bad. He was a chief. Yeah. And uh, I know there was a guy, Natka, talking to this Kudikov, his name was Mike Kudikov. And uh, anyhow, he was talking to Kudikov in that too. And this guy, Natka, was talking and they were talking at you they couldn't understand one another. Uh, well, I was right there with Renatka when this guy was talking. You kind of make so me... Udikov uh, yeah. finally said, hey, what you say was talking English? <laughs> we, can, uh, uh, yeah. we can understand one another. I'm curious, too, uh, uh, what, what were a few army people doing on Carlisle during the war? That seems such a rugged island with the volcano. What would they have been doing there? On where? On Carlisle. Why would there have been a, a, you know, a couple of army people there? You mentioned the sergeant and then the other guy that you know, disappeared. Well, all. I don't know. It was, I don't know what, but uh, it was not nothing big. Mm -hmm. It was just a few men with a sergeant. Huh. And when they went there to pick him up, See, that was not in my area. I was here on Alaska. Right. I attended yeah, all the outposts. There was a lot of them here, too. Mm -hmm. Were there any army people on the Herbert? Uh, not that I know of. They were on Chugan Attic, though, weren't they? Uh, Chugan Attic. The, the big one with Mount Cleveland and everything. The big island and the four mountains. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, that's the one I'm talking about, where the sergeant is... Oh, not right. not Carlisle. You mean Chugan Attic. Yeah. Uh, Juvenatic, yeah. okay, that, that makes more sense. Yeah. Okay, right. Yeah, anyhow, they went there to pick him up and no sergeant. Mm -hmm. Okay. And they said he went he went out hiking and <laughs> not and they, wild one. Yeah. And they, <laughs> okay. And uh, your lava. Yeah, I've seen some remains that I thought maybe the military had been yeah. on Juvenatic, but I couldn't visualize their well, being this, on uh, yeah. This mean sergeant sometimes a GI shot one. Yeah. yeah. I know when I was running outposts here, I was called to pick up a sergeant, uh, no, pick up a boy sergeant in, uh, in uh, not Summer Bay, but Humpy Cove, mm. where they had to, mm -hmm. and uh, this was at night, the sergeant had shot the GI, oh. and uh, well, 
young fella, and uh, so uh, anyhow he was arrested. Yeah. Uh, this young, he was kidding this young guy all the time. This young fella was newly married yeah. and was always moaning and groaning. Well, he was wife. <laughs> yeah. And uh, the sergeant, uh, finally this young fellow got mad at the sergeant, pulled a knife on him. Whoops. <laughs> the sergeant shot him. Mm -hmm. I don't know what they done to the sergeant, but uh, yeah. well, he's, he actually shot him for so, self-defense. Yeah. But just to say he caused it, yeah. you know, by, him, sure. by being mean to this young kid. See, there's an awful lot of young soldiers, you know, 18, 19 years old. Well, I enlisted Navy when I was 19, <laughs> wow. in uh, 1915. Wow. <laughs> well, years. Before we take off, because it looks like we're going to leave pretty soon, did you want me to give a message to Ted Peterson and uh, Homer? Well, sure, you could tell him you saw me here. Okay, I'll tell you said hi. Okay. Yeah. Well, I certainly enjoyed Thanks, speaking yeah, with you. Thanks, I appreciate it. It was really yeah. nice to invite us in. Yeah, course. I really enjoyed talking yeah. with you. <laughs> we wish we had more time. Oh, yeah, really I'd love to. Man. I'd love to uh, go over some maps with you sometime and on the islands and everything. It would oh, really yeah. be fascinating, island by island. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it'd really be neat. Oh, gee, that would be good. I could tell you plenty about mm. it. I bet you could. Wow. I bet you could. Well. Yeah. And uh, that even today, nobody knows the Lucian Islands like I did. Oh, that's and, true. Well, I traveled around the Lucian Islands just for fun. Mm. You know, it was fun for Very beautiful places. I like yeah. the Lucian uh, Islands, too. A lot of other people, it wasn't fun for them. No, they hated it. Maybe they did. Yeah. They must not have understood the Isles well if they hated it, though. No. Yeah. They can stay well, in I Southern used to California. Like to go to strange places. <laughs> yeah. You know. Too. Sure. You know, okay. Sure. Well, it's been a privilege talking with you. Yeah. And uh, especially when I had my own boat. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you know, I've traveled on other people's boats, but you know, in uh, 19, 1927. I bought a 50-foot boat from the Alaska Codfish Company. Mm. Nice boat, mm -hmm. gas engine in it. $5,500. Wow, it was about six years old. Mm -hmm. And that same boat today would cost $200,000. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't doubt it. It would. Wow. Yeah. Well, speaking yeah. of boats, we got to catch one and catch the fish and wildlife boat. The, the fish and wildlife boat, the thick one? I mean, we're at right oh, here. The spit down the spit. We gotta take a truck down the spit, the big spit there. Oh, you have to take right. a truck to yeah. Dutch Harbor. Right. To Dutch Harbor. Yeah. To the to the spit. Yeah. Doc. Okay. Nice meeting. I hope I can do it again sometime. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bye. Bye. I'll, I'll tell Ted hi for yeah. you. Right. Yeah. Sure. But bye. bye, Henry.